find the integer solutions. AB plus C is equal to 2020. A plus BC is equal to 2021. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the integer solutions from this given equation. AB plus C is equal to 2020. A plus B, C is equal to 2021. But before I proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have A, B plus C equal to 2020. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have A plus B, C equal to 2021. Let's call this equation true. What do we do next? Let's subtract equation 2 from 1. And the essence of this is that the right-hand side is going to be equal to 1. So this implies that we have subtract Equation 2 from 1. This implies that we have A plus BC minus AB plus C equal to 2021 20, minus 2020. 20. This implies that we have A plus BC minus AB minus C. That is, I'm opening the bracket with this minus. It will be equal to 1. 2021 minus 2020 is equal to 1. Here we have A and AB here. Then we have BC and the C here. Then from A and AB, so we can factor A out. This implies that we have A into 1 minus B, that is A, is common. From here, this one and this one. Then we are left with BC and the C plus C into B minus 1 equal to 1. Now, this is 1 minus B, and this is B minus 1. In order to make this B minus 1 to be 1 minus B, so we have to multiply this by minus 1. This implies that we have A into 1 minus B plus we have minus 1 multiply by C into what? B minus 1 equal to what? 1. Then this implies that we have A into 1 minus B minus C into 1 minus B equal to 1. Now we have A and the C. Then we have 1 minus B and the 1 minus B here. This implies that we have 1 minus B into A minus C equal to 1. But the question says find the integer solution from this given equation. This implies that A, B, and C are all integers. Also, 1 minus B and A minus C are also integers. So we need to find the factor of 1. So this implies that 1 times 1 then minus 1 multiply by minus 1. So there are all factors. In this case, we are having two cases. First case, we have 1 minus b equal to 1. a minus c equal to 1. Second case. 
we have 1 minus b equal to minus 1 then a minus c equal to minus 1 and this implies that from the first case here we have then 1 minus b equal to 1 therefore minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 b now be equal to what? 0 so we've known the value of b to be 0 let's substitute for b from equation 2 so equation 2 is a plus b c equal to 20 21 then we have a plus 0 into c equal to 20 21 then a will be equal to what 20 21 we've known the value of a and we've known the value of b so we can also get the value of c from the first case and the first case we have a minus c equal to 1 then our a is what 20 21 minus c equal to 1 then minus c will be equal to 1 minus 20 21 then minus c minus c will be equal to minus 20 20 then c will be equal to 20 20 in order to get the value of c you may also substitute for b and a in equation one so you also get 20 20 therefore from the first case we have a to be equal to what 20 21 then b equal to 0 c equal to 20 20 now let's solve for the second case the second case is we have 1 minus b is equal to minus 1 then a minus c is equal to what minus 1 then from this one we have 1 minus b equal to minus 1 minus b equal to what minus 1 minus 1 b now will be equal to what 2 now let's substitute for b from equation 1 and 2 equation 1 is a b plus c equal to what 20 20 then 2a plus c is equal to what 20 20 let's call this equation 3 then we also have we have a plus b c equal to 20 21 then a plus 2c equal to 20 21 let's call this equation 4 then from equation 3 and 4 we have 2a plus c equal to 20 20 a plus 2c equal to 20 21 then let's this is simultaneous equation let's use elimination method let's multiply this by minus 2 so we have minus 2a minus 4c equal to what 4042 minus 4042 then let's see using elimination method this one will go you have c minus 4c we have minus 3c equal to what 2020 minus 40 42 will be equal to what minus 2022 then we divide both side by minus 3 divide both side by minus 3 then our c will be equal to 674 also we've known the value of c to be 674 and we've known the value of what b to be equal to 2 so we can substitute for c either on the equation or from we have a minus c equal to minus one then we've known our c to be six seven four we have a minus six seven four to be equal to minus one then 
here we got what minus one plus six seven four then here we will got to watch six seven three so therefore from the second case we have a to be got what six seven three then b to be equal to two and then c to be equal to six seven four so those are the integer value of a b and c from both the first case and the second case if you've enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you